さんこんにちは。久しぶり。久しぶりですね。座りますか。いいですよ。うん、はい。Hello everyone, my name is Damiano. I'm from Italy, but I've been living in Japan for more than three years now. And today we are in the、uh, Monza Nakacho area. So we are going for a tour today, and I'm really、uh, looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Yuki. I'm originally from Tottori Prefecture, and I've been living in Tokyo for more than 10 years. And Monza Nakacho is one of my favorite spots, very historical site. So I'm very excited to stroll around with Damiano. Uh, I was already in this company, so the Miano joined、yeah, in December of 2019,、uh-huh. so right before the、uh, pandemic started. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we met、so、in the office. We were on the same team,、yeah. like, creating a walking tour, real tour, and we were planning and guiding actually, but because of this corona pandemic situation, we shifted to online tour and we're doing. Guide, online、yeah. guide. Actually, we, we didn't have、yeah. the chance to hang out, but today, for the first time, we are in Tokyo together.、Mm-hmm. In a different situation, we are just much、yeah. more relaxed. <laughs> so, we are in the Monza Nakacho area, as we said before,、uh, which is also known as Mon Naka. And it's actually a temple area、uh, that was built on a sandbar, so the sea used to be here.、Uh, it's famous basically because of its akaya,、uh, type of traditional Japanese bars. But also for some cultural sites, such as the Tomioka Hachimangu Shrine and also the Fukagawa Fudomyo, which is actually an affiliate temple to the big、uh, Narita san temple in Chiba Prefecture. Actually, there used to be a huge temple called Eitaiji in Edo period. It includes the land of Fukagawa Park or the Narita san Fudo area. After the Meiji Restoration, the compound really gets small. Now, people visit those two. Shrine and temple, and pray for the traffic safety. It's a really nice spot to visit. Mon Naka area is more localish and seems more down to earth. And also, it's just one station from Kiyosumi Shirakawa, so it's very nice to stroll around. So, I highly recommend you to visit both places together. This is not an area where you know, foreigners、uh, come、mm-hmm. when they visit Tokyo, so maybe this is the chance to、yeah. show you something different. Yeah, you can feel the Edo atmosphere. We will see some traditional stuff. Yay, excited! <laughs> okay, so are you ready to go, Damiano? I'm ready. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready, guys? So, we should go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yay! I'm going to go. どうしようやっぱ深川飯食べたいセンターボイスしてます富岡八幡宮 It's not a trip to Monaka without visiting this shrine This is the largest Hachiman shrine from the Edo period with a 400 years history It is also known as the birthplace of Kanjin Zumo Ritual, the origin of the current professional small sport. Here you can also find this huge golden mikoshi, which is the largest portable shrine in Japan and is carried in Fukugawa Hachiman Festival, one of the three great festivals of the Yedo period. Also, since the area used to be fisherman's base, people often visit the shrine for luck and safety during fishing. So, you said this is your third year in Japan or something. So, when was your first visit to Japan? It's my third year、uh, with this visa, but actually,、mm-hmm. I came to Japan for the first time when I was、uh, 17. And I spent one week in Tokyo and、mm-hmm. three weeks in doing homestay in Yamagata Prefecture. Nice. 
So yeah, to me, Yamagata is still the real Japan. <laughs> and you know, uh, it's, uh, there's more nature, more mm -hmm. tradition, and people are not used to, uh, you know, a foreign culture. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, to me, it's more authentic. So whenever I can, I just go to uh, Yamagata Prefecture or the Tohoku area in general. So you're from Totori. Yeah, I'm which, originally yeah, from Totori. I've never been, so <laughs> I heard there are some sand dunes. You should come, so you should come. I really should nice go. place. We have sand dunes, nice seafood and pears. And I would love to we, go to uh, Totori someday. Nice so, so how long have you been uh -huh. living in Tokyo? I've been living here about more than 10 years okay. in total. After graduating high school, I moved to Akita, okay. right next to Yamagata. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been there, I've seen the, uh, you know, the matsuri nice. uh -huh. with all the lanterns, uh -huh. you know. Ah, Kanto matsuri. Yeah, I've seen that's, that, yeah. You know. I was really impressive. But that's the only place I've been in Akita Prefecture, so I should definitely uh, visit <laughs> some more. So now you went from Totori to Akita and mm -hmm. now you're in Tokyo. And when I was in university, I studied abroad to the United States. Oh, okay. As an exchange student, I was in Minnesota, oh, Minnesota. state. That okay. is so freezing place, <laughs> like zero zero Fahrenheit. Okay. Yeah, the Minnesota has a rich nature too. Okay. And I was in dance team, so okay. yeah, I had so much good time <laughs> at, the, at there. It's time for lunch. And we're at the famous restaurant Fukagawa Juku, located in the Tomioka Hachimangu Shrine compound right next to the huge Tori Gate. The outdoor seats are super relaxing. Here, you can feel the wind blowing while resting under the tree's shadow. Next to where we sit is the Ino Tadataka statue, an astronomer of the Edo period who first completed the entire map of Japan and used to visit this shrine very often. I chose a local famous Kagawa meal and Damiano chose another Japanese traditional dish. By the way, Fukugawa meal is a dish that originates from fishermen's tradition and made by fresh clams caught in Tokyo Bay with special miso over steamed rice. A Monaka must try dish. It was really delicious, just like how I expected it. Alright, let's move to the next spot. Your big surprise when you first visit Japan? Like, did you have like get culture shock or something? Uh, I actually uh, wanted to come to Japan since I was 12. Since <laughs> I was a child, I've always had, had a big fascination for Asian countries and uh, Japan in general. So mm -hmm. I had the time, you know, to read a lot about Japan. So I didn't have right. that much of a culture shock. But it was, you know, I've okay. been to Yamagata for three weeks, mm -hmm. and the house was like in the countryside, not in the city. Mm -hmm. And the big surprise for me was uh, one night we were having dinner with the mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. and there was a like a police car passing outside with a voice. Wow. <laughs> and I, of course, I didn't understand because I wasn't fluent in Japanese mm -hmm. at the time. So after that, the family explained me that the police was actually warning uh, local people that there was mm -hmm. a bear walking around uh. and nobody was doing anything about it so to me it was a really huge shock because uh. you know in Italy we don't have so much uh, you know wildlife in the well. sense of dangerous animals mm -hmm. so to me you know just staying out inside <laughs> with the bear outside and nobody's not even <laughs> checking the door and that was a really huge shock and but it's like I understood that There's Japan is a really so. different approach with nature and like, yeah. you know, in the West, mm -hmm. human beings are above nature. In mm -hmm. Japan, it's like they are mixed. Yeah, like living together. Yeah, that's my yeah, perception of it. So also when other, I so go around, I always safe. check, you know, the landscape. I like to see the traditional architecture <laughs> integrated in the landscape. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. fascinates me the most about Japan and Japanese countryside. So wow. what about you? You went to Minnesota and it was so cold. <laughs> and when you came back, did you have any uh, reverse culture shock? 
Yeah, because one year seems like very short, but for me it was like big influence. So especially I really miss Japanese food. So I was very happy with that. But I noticed that the service in Japan is like very, what do you know, it's going to them. Yeah, very polite. Yeah, very polite. Okay. Like too polite sometimes. <laughs> and in Tokyo, I felt like people are a little bit um, unfriendly. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> in in America, like even if we met like first time, like we make eye contact and like smile. I really like that culture. Okay. So. You felt Tokyo to be a bit cold mm, compared to the cold. A Minnesota. little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> So when I was in America, I was asked like, why Japanese people don't believe any particular religion or like, I was asked about the history or Japanese custom, but I couldn't answer very well. So I realized, oh, I don't know anything about like history or our daily custom. I see. So yeah, I started to study about the history or like culture thing and uh, I tried to be a tour guide okay. in Japan to um, how can I say <laughs> so in a way you realized uh -huh. that your country was really good yeah and you started appreciating again yeah. discovering again what your culture was absolutely that's why I was in inbound section okay in my company すごい。Fudodo Temple is undoubtedly Monnaka's highlight. It was established in 1703 as a branch temple of Narita-san Shinshoji Temple. You might be surprised by the unique space synchronizing the hypermodern building covered with Sanskrit letters and the authentic traditional wooden main hall which is the oldest in Kota Ward. I want to be clever and I have that cake. <laughs> this temple's highlight is the Goma fire ritual when you can buy a wooden stick called Gomagi, write your name on it and let the monks burn it to make your wish come true. There are also other various types of omamori that can be found here for traffic safety or success in business and so on. How about you, Damiano? So you recently get married, right? Yeah, I got married uh, a few months ago. Congratulations, yeah, it's going great. Thank you. <laughs> How's your life like with your wife? Ah, uh, actually, we've mm -hmm. been living together for mm -hmm. one year before we got married. Okay. So apart from the ring, uh, nothing is really different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because of the pandemic, we uh -huh. cannot go on a honeymoon. I know. I still have to introduce her to my parents because <laughs> we were going to uh, Italy uh, last year, but we had to cancel. So uh, yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, uh, I expected more uh, culture shock. So your wife is Japanese. It, yeah, she's Japanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like she's Japanese only outside, mm -hmm. and she's also been studying in uh, the U.S. in Oregon. You know, so she's really like open-minded and she really likes English and. Uh, other countries. Mm -hmm. Also, I hear mm -hmm. that many foreigners who get married to Japanese people mm -hmm. are not accepted uh, uh, by the wives of the uh, husband's family. Sometimes. But in my case, mm -hmm. uh, I've never felt as foreigner. You're welcome. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. very, very welcome. And mm -hmm. yeah, I found a really big and really nice family. Really uh, nice. So yeah, nothing to complain again. <laughs> so my life in Japan is just great. Oh, happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. <very> much. <laughs> One of the other things that you must check out when coming to Monaka is to walk around the local shopping street leading to Narita-san Fukagawa Fudodo Temple. Compared to the other famous nostalgic streets of Tokyo, this one is pretty small. But still, there are a lot of shops, mostly vintage ones that can be found here. You will find a fancy cafe called Mons Cafe here too. It is said that the place the cafe is currently located 
used to be a Japanese sweet shop that opened in 1868, the first year of the Meiji era. I'm planning to have a key. If you don't mind. Uh, yes, not in the near future, but eventually, of course, uh, maybe a couple. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are really looking forward to it. So, you're having international marriage, and your kid will grow in Japan, and you're originally from Italy. So, do you a little bit worry about like raising child? I'm worried mm -hmm. about not for the perspective of uh, mm -hmm. internationality. I'm busy. On you know racism, I'm not really worried oh. at all about that, but more about you know children in Japan mm -hmm. are really 100% focused on their school. So they go mm. to school and then the club and then the, they go studying to the juku, <laughs> and it's really different uh, from what I was really uh, doing when I was a kid. You, you know, in Italy juku. we don't have lunch in school, so we have lunch at home and then the whole day is free. Oh. So I think. Um, that will be uh, kind of hard for me to understand mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. the child has to go to do some other activities in the afternoon. Yeah. And on the other side, you know, I, I will never force my child to go study in the juku. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want my child to be discriminated because mm. uh, he or she is lazy. But actually, you know, for, for me, it's mm -hmm. impossible to make a baby study late in the evening. So, uh, yeah, I think right. we will have some mm -hmm. maybe clashes with mm -hmm. that. So apart from that, I'm okay. Actually, it's very cultural mm -hmm. uh, for kids to be just free in the afternoon. They just can do homework and then play until evening. So I wanted to be raised in Italy. Very <laughs> much. <laughs> wow, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is a narrow alley, this small district is just about less than a minute walking from the station and is packed with different options of retro izakaya restaurants that retain the Showa atmosphere. <laughs> It looked so peaceful when we visited it, but before Corona, it was crowded with customers drinking and talking, all happily, just like a scene in a nostalgic Japanese movie. It is kind of refreshing to see this type of scenery in the modern days, isn't it? Oh, Yuki, that was quite a tour, right? Yeah. Maybe we should sit down again? Yeah, so tired, but it was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, what did you like about today's tour? Oh yeah, th actually this was my second time to visit Monzen Nakacho. Last time I couldn't try a local specialty called okay. Fukagawa Meshi. So today I could do it. That was so tasty and the atmosphere is so nice, nostalgic. So yeah, I really love that. Okay. How about you? Uh, I really like the last place, the Tatsumi mm -hmm. Shindo. Because I came to Monzen Nakacho before but I totally didn't know about this show a period little street mm. uh, you know it's always nice to find some new corners even though I live in Tokyo for some years mm -hmm. so yeah it was really cool to see a nice surprise we should do it again we should yeah, show other places could. here in Tokyo mm -hmm. so everyone how was Monzo Nakacho? I did like it please be sure to let us know here in the comments below uh, yep. where you want to go or just some impression mm -hmm. about today and maybe you can let us know which place you want to visit next Give us your request. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us thumbs up. And we hope to see you again in our next adventure here in Tokyo. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.